Uh, hey guys, it's Sean Schuller. I will be making another video of fish, my Oscar and cichlid. Um, how to take care of your Oscar and cichlid, what to put in it, what to make sure it's the right temperature. Okay, and here's my fish. So, yeah, um, my idea is you can put a cichlid in with an Oscar, and, uh, you just gotta make sure the Oscar's bigger than the cichlid, so the cichlid ain't able to bully them. And, um, one more thing that I bet nobody knew what they can do is, like, Say you could take this and put that in your fish tank. So that's what I did. I took that off of my shelf and put it in my tank. You just got to make sure you rinse it off really well. And it ain't got no germs or dirt spots in it. Because it will infect your tank and eventually it will kill your fish. And um, one more thing. If you got a 10 gallon tank like I do. Because I just started. Is to make sure to check their filter. You always got to make sure you check that. Because when the water starts overfilling on the filter. That's when you got to realize... All the food and crap from the fish that um, filter sucking in is taking the dirt up, and that filter is um, stopping it, and it's also blocking out the water, which um, I might have to clean out my filter right now. But anyways, um, just make sure to clean out your filter, and you have the right heater back there. Um, but when you you'll see a bright light that's when you know that um set the wrong temperature in the heater will set the water back to the right temperature so if you want to do a sort of gravel cuz i used to have two oscars but he kept picking on them on my tiger oscar he's a lemon oscar anyways and there's my rainbow cichlid. He, he, my sister used to have him, and uh, he killed uh, my sister's blue cichlid. So I decided I wanted to get a cichlid to keep my lemon Oscar in line. That way he ain't so dominant in the tank. So yeah, I I I'd probably go with a cichlid. Just make sure the cichlid's bigger than the Oscar. And uh, you're feeding them both brine shrimp because my Oscar loves brine shrimp. He'll eat the whole thing. Um, he'll come, the cichlid will come up like a shark, come take a bite, and just go back down. That's the kind of his kind of behavior I see out of the cichlid, anyways. And um, if you also want to go with silver side, I tried to feed my cichlid silver side yesterday. Uh, he didn't buy it, so, if you want, if it's your decision, you can feed your cichlid brine shrimp, and feed your Oscar silver side, or you can both feed them brine shrimp, because anyways, it's no use wasting, um, silver side on a, cich a cichlid that won't eat the silver side, and one fish that will eat the silver side, so, I'd probably go with the brine shrimp thing, just brine shrimp. And, um, I don't think you need to buy no silver side because I think the Oscars love, they, like they say, um, Oscars will eat anything that, that can fit in their mouth. So, so I probably, so go with the brine shrimp. And, um, we'll get, we'll get on gravel.
now. The gravel I went with was like a sort of dirt brown color. That's the kind I went with. Because it blended in with my fish, sort of. It also blended in with the stuff I have in the tank, too. And, um... Just make sure you do... You check the gravel, make sure you get all this stuff out of it, and, um, one more thing, too, I have to mention, um, make sure you do water change once a week, because that's all you need to do, and, um, when you're low on water, you make sure you add some, it don't matter if you add tap water, because it really won't affect the chlorine in the, in the water. Um, now, when you do a water change, make sure you, if, if you have a 10 gallon anyways, uh, t I, my opinion, if the edges around here have leftover food from your fish, see how aggressive he is, he's, he's always thinking it's f uh, feeding time. Alright, well anyways, make sure, if, you might want to take a lot of water if there's food at the top, at the edge. And uh, I probably bring it down to here for a water change because you want to make sure you get all the bull crap, all the leftover food from the fish. And plus, there's one more thing. If you're wanting to, what I do sometimes is that I clean the inside of the tank, like the window part, and I also cleaned out some of it because I see him splashing all the time and getting my desk wet. My, my, my desk is a mess anyways. So if you want to, you can go ahead and clean all the other stuff on the other side of the tank off the window. And um, also, to a de pretty decent size Oscar in a 10 gallon tank, I... He's probably almost to his max right now, and um, he'll get he'll probably get a little bit bigger. I'll say a couple more inches bigger, he'll still be bigger. But anyways, once um, he's about to outgrow that tank, make sure to try and get a bigger tank. So you, if you go to Walmart, um, they Walmart has great tanks because this is where the tank I got from Walmart. This one's with tax over a hundred dollars. It's a uh, to me it's a great price. Um. So and also, if you want to get it like, say a seventy-five gallon tank, they got it up there for like a hundred twenty, a hundred seventy-five. I can't remember the exact price. Uh. So. If your Oscar's overgrowing the tank, you might want to take him out, put him in a bigger tank. Maybe if you can't find a bigger tank, um, you're going to have to stick with the 10 gallon for a while. Once you make the right money, you can go up to Walmart or wherever you want to go to go and get your fish tank. Um, you can able to get it a little over $100, maybe near $200 for a bigger tank. But twenty dollars, I have to say about one hundred twenty uh, bucks with tax. I have to say one hundred thirty. Um, if you want to get a t twenty gallon, because he'll stick good in a ten gallon and a twenty gallon. Because um, I think my Oscar might overgrow the tank, but who knows? Sometimes they go to the capacity of the tank. So. If I can, I'll try and feed them. Maybe later on in my next video. This video is just about how to take care of your Oscar and how aggressive your Oscar can be. And uh, also, your cichlids, if you can go up to Coral Galore, they're way aggressive. Or Gerbers or Jack's Pets. My suggestion would have to be up to Coral Galore if you like. Big Oscar, big cichlids. They they only got like three Oscars there because I went there a couple days ago. So if you're willing to get a cichlid, you can go up to Coral's Galore. 
or Gerbers. I haven't been to Gerbers yet, so I, I bet I bet they have big cichlids and big Oscars. A couple days ago, I went to Jack's Pets, and I seen a tiger Oscar in there with a red devil Oscar. And um, I was thinking, what do they feed them that, to that size? So, anyways, this was the video of my, of my cichlid, an Oscar, and how to take care of it. See you later, guys.